All right, here we go. Got the door on. Got it set pretty good all the way around. I had to do a little knocking around after I got it set as far as where this is all rotted out right here. This was all flexing and everything else. So took a hammer there, got it pretty straight. My radius, I got my radius right, and I, what I'll do is uh, scribe a piece of cardboard with that radius right there, what I'm going to keep. I didn't have to knock it in much, just a little bit, and I knew it was flared out there a little bit when I took it off. But that's what I'm going to be working with when I go put my outside panel on. And, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Let's get started. Okay, got the door on the table. That's what we're looking at. I went on and measured up 12 inches here on both sides to kind of give me a reference line to work with when I put the new panel in. I can measure from here back down to the new panel and keep my exact measurement what I need. Went on and made me a pattern right there. Kept that same radius going. So that'll help me out when I get the new panel on over here, when I cut this out. Uh, same thing on this side. Well, I did the same thing here all the way down, so that's what we're looking at right there. So, got to hang on to that. Here's my door skin right here. Got a lot of bond on this corner here. It goes good ways on up. About pretty much this whole panel here. I think this panel's about 11 inches. I don't know how much of it I'm going to use, but at least nine, ten inches of it. I'm going to go all the way across with it. Of course, that's what we're looking like all across the door, door bottom. Of course, I'm putting door bottoms in too. But yeah, I got to go ahead and uh, there's a door bottom right there. I got to get this outer skin cut off first. I'm going to go and take about. I don't know, nine or ten inches of it off and see what we're looking at. But it's got to come out of there. I'm going to get to cutting. All right, here's what we got. I went on and took the grinder, went all the way around, all the way around the whole door, and opened the seam up. I'm gonna get the seam open all the way around. I'm going to pretty much use this whole panel right here because I'm up into some a good chunk of bondo here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the whole panel. So what I'm gonna do, what I've done, I can put the panel against here now since I grind it off and off enough. I can go ahead and get my measurement. I can measure from here up to this little line over here, 12 inches. So it gives me room and I go ahead and cut this all the way down. I can either cut it here or I can make just one good cut right here. I'll figure out how I'm going to do it once I get to going, but I'm going to go ahead and get to cutting. Alright, what I've done pretty much. I just put it up here and scribed the line. I'm gonna go ahead and use every bit of it. So I got me a nice line right there. I'm gonna follow the line. Of course, I'll stay on this side of the line and cut all the way down. I left me just enough space there so I can weld it and still have my 12 inches here.
Okay, got everything cleaned out of it as you can see. A lot of rust in there, surface rust anyway. We're going to go ahead and get this bottom end cut all the way down. I got my piece cut to fit, so it's an exact fit with a small gap all the way down. This piece works. Where's it at? There it is. So I got it sitting over to the side right now. It will fit, but for now, we got to go ahead and get this cut, however much I want to take out of it, and put it in. So what I'm going to do to that rust there, just clean it up the best I can, wire will it. Probably use some of this stuff right here. Maybe some of that. It's the same stuff. We'll brush it all in there. So we're not going all out with this truck or nothing. Uh, I don't know what my brother's going to do later on down the line with it. But for now, we're just going to get the rust all out of the truck, put the patch panels on. Well, of course, do all the body work. I want to do that, smooth it all out. Prime it in. Maybe leave it in primer or throw a coat of blue on there to somewhat match it. But that's what we're pretty much doing to the whole truck. So we're not going all out with everything. But I am going to do this the best I can. And at some point, if a man wanted to take the, the side panel off, he can get back there and spray whatever he wants to spray all down in there. But I'm going to do the best I can with the seam sealer and coating it for now. So there we go. Got a nice little arch down there. Where's it at? There it is. I kind of want to keep that there too because all that, that's supposed to be there. That was in there before I cut it. So I got to be real easy when I go to weld this other, other patch panel back on. But anyway, yeah. Let me see what we're looking like here. We're going to go ahead and get this bottom cut on out. Here we go. Here's what someone's done to this patch years ago. You could tell they cut a small patch, put some rivets around it. Yeah, that's what you're looking at right there. That's the way they did it. I don't know about that side. Well, anyway, this is going to the can. All right, I've done a red scotch bright all through there on that rust. Got all that loose rust off there. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and get this door flipped over so I can get this bottom cut out. That's after I get my measurement to see where I'm at. So let me get this bad boy flipped over. Okay, this is what we're looking like on the other side. I gotta do some cutting right in here. I'll probably stay on this side. No, I'm kind of messed up down here. I may go on this side right here. I believe I got enough on this panel over here. Yeah, it catches up on that groove a little bit. Okay, I'll stay right above that a little bit right here so I'll just come through here get this bad dog cut down through here somewhere like that all right we'll get some measuring okay what I was gonna do run a piece of three-quarter tape down here and just cut on this side but I might as well just not even cut it and just use the whole piece what I'll do is come on down through here then when I get in this one little area I'll just come over and go straight down right here to get out of all this mess right here so yeah I'll just come over and cut pretty much the same way I did the panel on my my red truck a couple years back pretty much did the same thing on uh, both doors of course it wasn't as bad a shape it wasn't as rusty but I went on and done them anyway okay I went on and measured up six inches from the bottom of this to there in a few places 
So when I get this cut out, I can measure on that new one pretty much at the same point from there up to wherever it's going to be. I'll still have that cut. I mean that mark, I'll still have it so I can measure my six inches. But what I'm going to do here now is just take a big chunk of it out on over here so I can get this piece up here and scribe it. Because I pretty much got this piece where I want to cut it. Let's see. I don't know if I'm going to do a little angle there. I'll figure it out when I get to it. But I got this measured in here, cut. Same on the other side. So it's pretty much what I'm going to deal with right there. So it's cut to fit. <clears throat> so let me go and get a good chunk of this out of here right now. Here we go. Okay, after cutting just a little bit of it out, I ain't got it cut right on it yet. I can pretty much put my new panel up here. Pretty much get it where I want it. And I still got my six inch line right, right there. So I can measure from here to there and put it right on that six inches. I can move the panel right here. Same thing on this side. Measure up six inches. That's real close right there. So as long as that keeps this back in the original spot the door was. So I could pretty much put this, measure my six inches and scribe this all the way down and have this cut. That's probably what I'm going to do. And that should work. All right, here we go. Everything's pretty much cut to fit. Of course, right here on the bottom, got a little gap right there that I got to cut off and let fold down. I remember this on my truck a couple years back, had that same little problem right here on this bottom, but all hammer and dolly, all that, knock it down. But everything else, pretty much gonna go in and be right up to my six inch line that I did have here before I grinded it off. Six inches all the way down. So it's pretty much cut to fit. I'll bring everything over. Looking pretty good right in here. After I get everything over there real nice. Pretty much going to weld up. So 
what I'll do now is lay that to the side and treat all this and just go ahead and let it sit all night maybe two days all depend on depend on what I'm doing at work so we'll get all that treated sprayed and then we'll come back and do the outer panel okay here we go after a day well probably two days I believe yeah wasn't last night it was the night before sprayed all this down uh, all the way inside well flip the door over got all that so that's what we used right there the rust encapsulator all through there right there sprayed all that in so got all that done so that's all I'm gonna do to that and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this panel on here now go ahead and weld it up put it across the top here so I can hammer and dolly and keep it real nice with the arch I got there this way I've done my red truck when I done it so it helps out putting that panel on first then I'll come back, flip the door over, and put this on. This one's already cut to fit, except a few little ends. I know I gotta mess with it a little bit around these ends when I go to put them in. But as far as the top here, I'm right on it. On this end right here. Well, we'll see. Let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and get this peak welded in now. All right, I got a few welds on. I worked my way in the middle and went out as much as I can go. I'm just kind of taking my time with it, hammering and dollying as I go. Like this middle one here, I know when I went to weld that right there, it kind of sagged in. It went down, so I had to use the dolly, the ham, uh, yeah, the dolly, and bring it up a little bit. So that's what I'm pretty much doing with each one of them, taking my time with it. Pretty much trying to hold it as straight as I can get it, you know. I know there's going to be a lot more hammering and dolly in it once I get to going and get it all welded up. But I just got to work it in slow, so. I'm going to put a few more spots here and there. Then I'm going to grind them down and kind of see where I'm at. And hit it again. All right, weld, done a lot of grinding, smoothing out, hammering and dollying. Keep getting a few little waves in the panel out here, but that's gonna happen the more I weld and uh, change it up a little bit, the more I hammer and dolly, the waves kind of move around a little bit, but that's gonna happen until I get more welds on it and just keep going at it, it's all I can do. But we ain't looking too bad right there.
All I can do is keep stitching. Here I go. Alright, more welding, more grinding. Coming back with this little grinder here and catching the head and just kind of shaving it down a little bit on each one of them. Less heat. Then I'll come back. I believe that's an 80. Yeah, it's an 80. Then I'll come back and uh, smooth it on down. All the way down, then I'll weld some more. Just to keep the heat down. I'm getting a few few little waves out here on my new panel, but that's going to happen. I just have to keep hammering and dolly, just kind of keep messing with it as I go. So, I mean, it's working out. You can see some of the waves in the other panel. That's just going to happen. That's all I know anyway. But here we go. I'm going to grind a few more, weld, keep going until I get it done. Feel them little holes in right there. See, when I grind them down, I can just about tell where I'm going. I can feed that one there. Well, back to this one. Well, right in there. So, just keep feeding them on in, back and forth, back and forth. All right, here we go. After doing a lot more sanding, hammering, dollying, this and that, I know I'm not uh, right on it, but I'm pretty close for now. I'll, I'll still do a little bit more later, but it ain't looking too bad. No, it ain't looking too bad. But I still got some work to do to it. I went on the grind at the Bondo out of here. Somebody filled both of these up with Bondo when they should have put a stud welder in it and pulled them out, but I'll do a little work to them. But yeah, I'm going to leave it at that until I can get this inner patch, inner bottom door patch put in. But alright, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.